Well, I don't like that one of the X-Hunters is stationed there, but I have no choice. I need to get that last armor enhancement so I can complete the second armor. And well, this boss could also be kind of an interesting one. Despite his difficulty at times, from when he evolves, quote unquote, probably one of the more interesting Mavericks in this game. Well, let's have some fun anyway. So welcome back everybody to more Let's Play Mega Man X2 as a part of the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. The, whoops, this is your host, MJ406. And well, how about you freeze over, bitch? Ah! That's right, Chris the Hunter can freeze you. And I all did it for this heart tank. Thank you. And now you're dead. Wow, I didn't have to do that, but I did it anyway. I got dick. Wow, look at all these lives I'm getting. How nice. All right, then. Anyway, let's continue. Hmm? Hey, there's something in there. I wonder. Spin wheel. Reveal the way to me, please. Come on, get in there. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Yep, see? That head is useful helping you find this. You don't need it, but it's helpful for you to detect it easily. Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your body armor. With it, you can absorb damage and transfer it into explosive weapon energy. Yep. So, here's the new armor. Gives you half damage, and you use it for something else. There we go. Second armor is complete. Yeah, I know the name is kind of lame, but, well, with a full charge, Giga Crush! You just wasted that, you asshole! <laughs> you had a full charge. You decided to waste it to show it off. Oh, and by the way, weapon energy can also be converted to... Oh, wait, no. That's for spin wheel. Now, basically, any damage and extra energy you pick up of any kind will get absorbed into that Giga Crush meter, I think. Oh, no, no. It's any damage you take gets turned into it. Never mind. Never mind. It doesn't have any charge. I thought I got a little bit. I was wrong. All right, lives. Thank you. Then again, with this, I'm going to need it. I'm not a big fan of this stage, though. Because, well, mainly because of this mini-boss. Oh, hey, it's a little insect. It went inside that junk bot. Uh-oh. Okay. This junk bot's a giant pain in the ass. Ah! It's got really weird movements. Kill the junk bot. And the bug comes out. And if you wait too long, it'll inhabit another one. Oh, you asshole. I hate this mini-boss. Oh, come on. There we go. Why did you see it have the explosion happen? Then you can get it. If you do a fully charged double buster shot and hit it with both at full charge, you can wipe it out one shot if you're lucky. And also, the rest of the bugs like that are annoying. They jump on you and just get annoying. Ow! Now move! I said no! I... Asshole. Alright, well, let's go in here. And look, a hidden route over here. And since there's actually one of the X Hunters here, they're here. Oh god, please don't let it be the one I hate. Please don't let it be the one I hate. Please. Okay, good. Ah, huh, the leader, Sergus. Alright. I am Sergus, and I cannot allow you to stop the unification! It's Ryan! One and all! Shit, I didn't mean to speed through that. I thought he was done talking. Ow! Whee! So, yeah, he's kind of a dick. Actually, I do have his weakness, technically. Ow! Meh! I can beat him with, with the boss, but I'll go with his weakness just for the heck of it. Yeah, annoyingly, when he's on the ground, he freaking has his, uh... Oh, that was his weakness. Ow! You know what? I think I'll be better off going to the charge. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking something else is his weakness. My bad. Ow! Whee! So, yeah, this, this boss is kind of annoying for the fact that he likes to drop mines, and then when you hit him, whee! He does that and freaking tries to freaking shoot you. I mean, as long as you avoid his mines, he's actually pretty easy. But, well, wee! He's pretty annoying. He pretty much puts a 
a barrier up every time you attack. Unless he's placing down a mine. That's your best opportunity to smack him. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I got... Ow! You suck! Take that! Oh, there we... Oh, cool! I'm on his platform! All right! You have merely delayed. The inevitable! Oh, okay. <laughs> we will meet again. Thank you for that. Hmm. You're trying to go over the unification. You got zero part number one. So, yeah. The X Hunters have zero parts. You have to hunt them all down in order to get the parts back. Why did I do that? I don't know. But, yep. That's why, whatever stage you're in, you want to find them. Should I spoil it for you? I guess I will. I'll just put it this way. If the X-Hunters are in a stage and you fail to get them when you beat the Maverick in the stage, you lose them. Meaning you'll never be able to get that zero part back. And well, I'll say this. If you're going to go after the zero parts, you want all of them. For a special thing. So, yeah. Try to make sure you can track them down. By the way, that's another reason you'll want Wheel Gator's weapon first. Because if you happen to not do overdrive, off to stage is one of the first two. Get off me, you bastard! Well, overdrive ostrich, you need Wheel Gator's weapon to get to the route that has the Axe Hunter battle. That's another reason to go after Wheel Gator's weapon first. It's not just for the armor enhancer or the fact you need it for the light part. But you also need to access certain areas. Also, the Giga Crest ready? Oh, it is! Okay. Cool. I'll show that off later. You already saw it, but, well, I'll get to show it in real action. Oh, great. The Junk Robot's back. Awesome. Are you doing your rear jump? Nope. Okay. Wah! Yeah, wait for him to jump high so you know to do the crazy dodge. Oh, all right. Hang on. Come on. Mm. No! Oh, I hate this thing! But yeah, the X-Hunters, well, they're an interesting variable in this game at the very least. You may not like the way they're implemented, but you know, I like there's an extra variable other than, other than just the robot Mavericks. Like, it's nice to have another outside, another outside, you know, I wanted to say a third party, but they're actually the villains. So I guess technically calling a third party is wrong. They are the second party of two. They are against you. Making them the evil party. Okay. There we go. Alright, I better put my charge shot away. This could get obnoxious. So, here's one of the most unique Robot Maverick fights of the series. This one's pretty cool. Wait a minute. You're not Morph Moth. What the hell are you? Whatever you are, you look stupid. Just letting you know. Oh, God, it's vomiting. It's vomiting junk. <laughs> Not to worry. He's just playing around like the child he is. Ah! What the hell? Oh, come on, dude! He's absorbing junk from the junkyard. Huh. Is he trying to assemble himself with old robot parts? Whatever he's doing, it's obnoxious. Yeah, this Morph Moth thing really likes to be a dick. Ah! Damn it. Oh, no. He picked the center of the room, too. What an asshole. He's growing bigger and bigger and so... Ow. Damn. Hungry? Hungry much? Yeah, this guy is pretty obnoxious. I can hurt him right now, by the way. But I'm choosing not to. It'll show off his, you know, full state. You saw his name was Morph Moth, and you see he's not at his moth form yet. You can probably see what he's going to do. If you know insects at all. Oh my god, I can't jump over you! <sighs> Jesus. Ah! Who would have thought bugs were so terrible? Especially robotic bugs. Again, robots have bugs. They're programming. Not those kinds of bugs! Dickhead. Ready to jump? Oh, other way. Ooh, you tricked me. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. Okay, there we go. After he does that enough, gets enough junk, get him. 
He hatches! Take your time. Ow! Oh! Bitch. So, yeah. You let him do that entire form without hit shooting him, you get an achievement for that. But, well, let's do this fight the way you should do it so you don't torture yourself. Like I just did. No, I might do better against that, but, well, he pinned me down. So, yeah. By the way, you're going to want to shoot him in this form because it makes the fight significantly easier. Damn it. He's involved when, he's, when he starts doing that. Oh, it's by the way. Yeah. The uh, second charge shot can actually eat through their invincibility frames, which is pretty neat. So, yeah. You can do your first charge shot and then hit him immediately again with the second one. And not to worry about, you know, having to time it or anything. It's pretty neat you can just do two consecutive charge shots in a row without having to worry about timing your shot. And see, look, I'm eating through his health now. All because I'm actually trying to shoot him while he's forming up. Once you knock him down to about a third, he decides, all right, not worth it. I'm hatching now. And his Morph Moth form appears. This is one of the harder Mavericks as well. Once he hatches, he becomes a pain. So he drops all this freaking glitter and then fires a beam at you. Oh, stop it! Oh, stop! So just keep trying to dodge around it. That way you don't have to put up with it. Hang on! Hang on! Okay! Time to show the Giga Crush. Not the best time to do it, but you know what? I don't care. Eat Giga Crush! Dodge this! Giga Crush is basically a screen nuke that does mad damage. Some bosses it only does one damage to, though, so you may want to use it sparingly. But hey, if you need to get a lot of enemies off your pack, or want to get a big attack in on a boss, if it works effectively, of course, Giga Crush is a very helpful tool. There we go! Thank you, Giga Crush. And you get an achievement for finishing off a boss with that, so, you know, show it off. Woo, Silk Shot! I just realized I don't have a single sub tank. Then again, I think they're in all the stages that don't have the armor parts. That's why. But it's actually a smart way to do it. So I guess I should go there. Alright, well I got one. Zero parts so we're good. Where are you now? Oh! Where's the other one? Okay, good. I was gonna go for either Flame Stag or you next. Wire Sponge. I have the leg parts and everything else I need. I guess I can just get going, huh? I'm trying to think. Is there anything I missed in the other stages? I got everything in Crystal Snails. I got everything in Overdrive Ostriches. I got the weapon part. I got the uh, x Buster upgrade Wheel Gator. Okay, yeah, I did get everything so far. All right, good. All right, there we go. Now I can get everything else in the game, too. So we're moving right along here. Let's go, Wire Sponge. See, if you get the Wheel Gator power up your first time through the stage, you'll never have to backtrack in this game if you do it this order. Hmm, more forget. Huh. Yeah, by the way, another reason you may want to do this stage first, you get a free heart tank right to start. Even if you die, at least you get a free heart tank. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, crap. This is why I wanted to do Flame Stag stage first. I don't need to have done it, but it makes things easier. Because otherwise... Annoying weather! Oh, man. I hate this weather. I hate the weather gimmick of this stage. It's not the worst thing, but it definitely hurts this stage a bit. Eh! Because while I wanted to get over here... Do you mind not getting in my way? Frick. There we go, our first sub-tank. They work just like they did in the previous game. When you're at full health, you can get the energy necessary to fill them up. And then, yeah, you can use them. I'm going down here for a sec. Here's your sealed room to reach the uh, Axe Hunter fight. I'll try to show off where at least all of them are. Guess that means I gotta go, gotta go back to Crystal Snail and show that one off, huh? Hey! Hey! Oh, hey! Well, at least I'm getting energy for my sub-tank. Which I might actually decide to use that on an X-Hunter. Oh, the sun, it burns! Why do these robots thrive in the sun and fail in the rain? 
Not gonna worry about it. At least there's not snow. Ow. Hmm. That makes me curious. I doubt this would work, but... Let's see. Uh... Oh, there it is. Ooh. Huh. I guess that eliminates all weather conditions. That's nice. Better than the crap I was trying to put up with. So you get crystal... If you get... Crystal Snail's weapon, as well as Flame Stag's weapon, you can change the weather. And, uh, hmm. There's one that does the water, too, I guess, or the rain. Then again, why would you want the rain? All it does is just ruin everything for you. It makes platforming hard, the wind, and the, uh, Maverick, and the, uh, little robots around are more vicious because of it. So, it's not helpful for anything. So, yeah, I hate them. <laughs> All right, bring on the next victim. Oh, it's Wire Sponge. What a fun victim you are. Eat that. Although one reason I don't like to do Wire Sponge first, because the Maverick himself is actually pretty difficult. He deflects a lot of your shots with his little spinning blade he has. And well, he sprouts up and throws these seeds everywhere. Which, well, you're going to want to shoot down when you get the chance. Because, well, otherwise they're going to be in your way and really annoying. Just keep your distance from Wire Sponge. Because, well... Ah! Don't claw at me like that, you prick. Ow! Come on. He is really annoying me! How dare you! How dare you! Once he's in a third of his health, he decides, all right, screw you! Lightning! Oh, God! So, yeah, now he just randomly strike lightning whenever he wants, so be careful about that. All right, come on. Come down and let me kill you. Dead! Oh, right. And he's invincible whenever he does it, so... That's another annoying thing about it. Stay the proper distance, though, and you won't get hurt by it. Ow, oh, my head! Wow, I actually had an easy time against him. Get rid of his seeds, I guess keep your distance, and he's fine. And don't be annoyed by him deflecting your shots away. Why a sponge? I know technically sponges are ascension creatures too, but really a sponge? Then again, he was actually competent, so I guess I can't really, you know, judge. Hey, here's your strike chain! A useful platforming tool, but not really a great weapon. I'm not a big fan of the strike chain. I've never been a fan of weapons that do stuff like that. You can use it to clip on the walls and stuff, but otherwise it's not that useful. Oh, good! They're not flame stag stage. Awesome. Good. That means I can go there now. Because I really want to get his weapon. So come on, flame stag! Here's one of the more useful weapons to get. But while this stage can be obnoxious. Well, then again, we're at a frickin' volcano! Although I would suggest go if you can go after any of the stages first, if you don't want to go after the X Hunters, after you get all your armor, I would say do this one. Ah! Because, well, this volcano is, uh, well... It's here. <laughs> oh, man, I can't even reach that stuff yet. Well, that's because... Ah! You don't have the need to. You don't have the... Yeah, you don't have the means, I meant to say. Sweet! Ah! That thing's annoying. Oh, yeah, I didn't show up any of the charge weapons yet, have I? How many lives do I have, by the way? I'm curious. Four. God damn it. I'm doing too well. All right, well, let me show off some of the... So, Strike Chain does this. You fully charge it. Yeah! You use that to clip on the walls. There's another method to get Wheel Gator's, uh... The, uh, X-Buster upgrade from Wheel Gator stage. Just a method, though. God damn it. Sonic Slicer just does that. Charge version. I gotta wait for all the blades to get off screen before I can do it. You do the uh, method that uh, Overdrive Ostrich had. Spin wheel. It goes around and just wrecks everything on its path. This one just explodes. It just shoots everything around you. Not too useful, but useful enough. Oh, yeah, I can show off this one. So here's a fun one. 
Silk Shot. You fire one shot, and then you charge it, it brings in more. And Crystal Hunter. You know, this stage just might actually be useful. You can slow down time with Crystal Hunter. But it slows you down, too. So it makes it kind of worthless. Ha! Ah! You know, this stage is actually a good stage to use it on. Ha, 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 lava, lava, lava. So hey, you want to you slow down time to try to get around this? Not a bad idea, especially considering this is here. God! Ah! Ah! Damn it! I hate this stage. <laughs> Mainly because of that. Then again, I went for the one-up, which I should not have done. <laughs> Damn one-up. Tempting me! You son of a bitch! Eh! Just break this wall already! Hey, stop moving! God damn it! Come on, break the wall! There we go! Ow! Wait, you can smash the rest of the walls just fine, but the one that shatters is the one that kills you. That makes not a lot of sense to me, but you know what? I don't care. Ow! Damn it, of course. I can't fire him until I get hurt. It's my curse! My curse, I tell you. Yeah, I hate this section. Did I go over that already? I hate this section. Move! Let me get that heart tag and keep moving! Yeah, if you go over that one-up, you're basically asking to get yourself killed. Okay, look, you're gonna have to stop erupting so I get around you. Thank you. Oh, jeez. This stage is a lot of lava, which can be obnoxious because of the way lava works. I mean, yeah, it's lava. Can you break this open? Ow! Thank you. Sucker. Get up here. You want to be able to go to the route to get to the X-Hunter. Yay. Neat. Ah! And, well, there's not too much else going on here. Wait, did I fully charge my sub-tank? Oh, I did. No shit. Oh, God! I forgot about that. No! Oh, and if you stay up a little higher, you can get the extra life over there. So, yeah. This fire works out a lot of devious things. Oh, really? They got creatures that ignite these things? Come on, man. I know it's a volcano, but even this is just ridiculous. Come on. Just stop. Stop trying to burn me. Man, if only light gave me heat resistance, but no. Why would he do that? Why would he give me something actually useful? Why would he do something to help me? Dick. Hmm, you know what? Let me see how much Giga Crush does the first attack on a boss. I want to see if it does one or does a lot. Because I don't think this works very well on a lot of the bosses. I know one it does, but not a lot of them. Alright then. Let's go, Flame Stag. How about you eat Giga Crush? Oh. Yeah, see? It only does that to him. Very, very helpful. Oh, right. I'm still going to go cross. I was going to say, why is my charge attack not going? So, Flame Stag! Well, he has a left to right philosophy of just going to the left to the right repeatedly, but he's fast, so it actually works out. So, you know, dodge him as soon as you see him move. Try to stay low and try to keep an eye on where what side he's going to. And once he gets blue, he's basically getting faster. And his fire lingers a little longer. So, yeah. Watch out when his flames get blue. Otherwise, Flame Stag isn't hard either. As long as you learn to avoid his jumping, he's pretty simple. He's just a stag. A simple, simple stag. That's all you'll ever amount to. Freaking Flame Stag. <sighs> but... You were fun at the very least, so thank you for that. And just like that, we got another power! Good, we're blazing around on this game too. Now we got the Speed Burner! This ability's pretty useful too. It's a good fire weapon, and the charge attack variety is actually pretty cool. And well, because of that, that means the last two stages both have the X-Hunters. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Let's go get the uh, sub tank of this stage first. Now that Flame Stag's power, I can show you how awesome it is. Because trust me, his ability actually kicks ass. 
Eh. Come on. Come on over here. Okay. I'm it. Dumbass. Oh, yeah, my sub-tank's full. What am I doing? I thought, I better get some sub-tank ammunition while I can. So, speed burner. Here's the way this works. You unleash it. You do basically another air dash. So you time it right, you do multiple air dashes with this thing. It's pretty cool. And the cool thing about Speed Burner, you can do it this way. You can jump, air dash, use that, and then do another air dash immediately afterwards. Oh, the preferable way to use it is to do an air jump, then do that, and then do another air dash to cover the rest of the distance. It's pretty cool. And well, used right, ha, you can get to pretty much any terrain you want. I really like the speed burner. You should too. All right, well, I better end the episode here. We do only have two stages left. Although, one can be a nuisance, especially for achievement hunters. Oh boy. Either way, well, this episode here. By the way, oh crap, I didn't want to come. I meant to hit the center thing, not the... X, get out of there. Don't mind my stupidity. Just get out. Sorry. Hey, by the way, you can also... Oh, yeah. Selecting to get out of the stage will swap where they go. You can hit that, and it should... looks like it's supposed to show something, but it doesn't show anything. I wonder why that is. Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay, come back next time. We'll take down the last two Mavericks as well as the last two of the X-Hunters. Because, well, I do want Zero's parts. If you can probably guess, Zero's going to be brought back in this game. So, you know, we better be the ones to do it or else things won't go well. We better have him. And we better make sure he's on our side. Like the friend I wanted him to be.